Morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Basically feels like we're in Christmas season. Our social calendar is filling up. Starting with this morning, we're headed to our friends. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey girl, you ready to go out and meet your friend? Yes, I do. Charlotte's having a play date today. Oh. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the Row Cafe. It's gonna soon be brought out by Sela Cafe. So nice. And we're gonna make... I'm gonna cut out the sound and just put music. <laughs> <laughs> You just stepped on my toe. Sorry. I had a wonderful afternoon. We actually have some other friends coming over today with their baby girl. A lot of play dates today. I have like a half hour before they're here. I'm gonna prepare some social media posts for tomorrow. I've been meaning to do a giveaway for my calendars and in doing that, I wanna make a quick little reel of like a calendar flip through. I'll show you how I make my reels. So here we are in Adobe. Premiere Pro. I don't like making reels on my phone because it's very stressful trying to edit a video on your little device. So I just take videos like this on my phone and then I just piece it together by dragging and dropping it in. It's honestly like super easy because I try to film it so that it doesn't need to be edited so much. So I'm just gonna fix that. I might add like a quick little filter. Oh, pretty easy. So once that flip through is done, I have like another clip that I filmed of the back and of like the thickness. And actually on the topic of social media and stuff like that, I've been heavily considering taking a break from Instagram, you know, just for my personal well-being. but I've actually never done it because it's my main business platform. But to be fair, January and February are slightly slower months. You know, it's coming off of like a big holiday rush. And so I was thinking it might be a good time to even just take a week or two. I know to some people that's like so short anyway, but for me, I'm used to posting almost every day on my Sela Paper account. All this to say, it sounds like I really do need a break from it. As of last week, we have started implementing a schedule for this girl. She's down by 8 p.m. She has one night feeding, and that's the one that we, we don't know when, but wake up time is 7 a.m. She is never up at 7 a.m. We always have to wake her up. By the time it's her next nap, she's like so tired. This is the roughest part, girl. You're gonna have to do this for the rest of your life. She's passed out again. You happy to be up now? Needed a few minutes to collect yourself? You like daddy? Hey guys, legit, it is already four o'clock. I feel like all I did today was feed, change diaper, play with you, put you to sleep. And then I ate my lunch and pumped and then like she woke up again, same thing. And now it's already four o'clock. I don't realize like how these days are going by. These vlogs are helping me realize like the amount of time going by. Baby girl is on our diaper changing table right now. I just put on a, f a fresh layer of baby face. She had a really bad drool rash. Uh, we actually cycled through like three or four different types of lotions. We found that this one works the best. Earth Mama is a great brand. I also really like this diaper balm from Earth Mama 2. The ingredients in this face balm is awesome. It's sunflower seed oil, beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, and they're all like the organic versions of them. Other thing is like when she's playing, I have to constantly be wiping her face, making sure she's not drooling. Cause she's drooling a lot now. She just woke up. Especially cause I'm documenting my day. I don't realize how much time is spent just like caring for charlotte like i know right guys like i'm surprised that a baby takes time some of my friends are like i can't believe you're working like they watch my vlogs and they're like i can't believe how productive you are but what you don't see is that 90 percent of it like all the parts i cut out of my vlog is just doing the same thing over and over again every single day i don't know where today went i wanted to get a bunch of things done today and nothing really happened i'm not mad about it girl let's do a squat here oh you like the camera, huh?
morning guys good morning super rainy day i did not have too many plans for today we decided to get out of our apartment alex included it's still his work day he brought his work computer with him and so we're gonna attempt to do like a few hours at my parents just so i can get some orders packed and i think both of us just needed to get out we are back in the basement, Alex got me this water bottle. We're pretty obsessed with water bottles, thermoses. This one's pretty massive. It has a handle. I'm definitely adding stickers to this. I don't think I can be a small business owner that sells stickers and carry around like the plainest water bottle, right? So we are ready to pack some orders. This is my new thank you postcard just for the season and I have about this much left. See if I get through them, but I actually removed the discount code that I used to have on all of these because it just got too much. Like too many discount codes, like everyone's getting things 10% off at like a baseline. I removed it, but it still has all the information for how to recycle all my packaging. And then I like to write, you know, the names and like a little thank you first things first when i pack orders i write down all the order names on these so that i know which order i'm packing stuff is not optimized but at this point i ain't gonna spend time optimizing it when i have such limited time It is 10 p.m. and we are winding down for the night. I do my last pump at around 10 to 10.30, so it works out well with like a pretty reasonable bedtime for a 6 a.m. wake, which is my next pumping session. After we got back home, I went out to do some errands. We're well stocked for the next few days. I'm actually hosting a few people too, so I paid a dollar for a pineapple today and I paid four dollars for a dozen eggs which is a lot while I am pumping I am not gonna record myself I am going to prepare for my giveaway closing tomorrow so instead of asking people to tag a friend below instead I ask people to share my reel and then to leave a comment below to say that they've shared it obviously it's an honor system I think this will actually help me in terms of like the Instagram algorithm, which is so rough for small businesses like mine. I feel like sometimes like nobody sees my posts. Instagram is like my main form of marketing. So I gotta rethink this whole business strategy. life you would know that I was obsessed with wearing bandanas and things like this my hair is so oily and I can't stand it between 6 to 9 a.m. there's like no hot water I sometimes take cold showers in the morning but not today Do you want me to do hot sauce on yours?
see Charlotte in the background, but I used to put her under that play gym like when she was maybe one month, two months old, and she did not like it. Like she didn't care for it, didn't look at anything. Um, but now that she's three months old, we tried setting it up yesterday for the first time again, and she went bonkers. Like she loves it. She's actually staring at a little mirror. Um, so she's staring at herself right now, enjoying herself, enjoying what she sees. <sighs> Feels like a new day, even though I vlogged only a few hours ago. I am showered, first coffee of the day, and before Charlotte goes down for her next nap, I want to quickly make some salt dough because I've been meaning to make some ornaments with her handprint on it. It's a very half-baked idea right now. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it seems straightforward enough. So when I was making my breakfast earlier, you probably noticed the table salt and the flour there. Yeah, that's all it is. Going it, Char? We don't really usually eat table salt. We use like kosher salt and stuff like that, but um, this is not for eating. Yeah, you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Okay, I better get to her soon. Oh my. Yeah, I'm sorry I ditched you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you talking to your friend? It sounds like she's in distress, but she's laughing right now. She just has a very distressing laugh daddy's here this salt is taking a lot longer than i thought so this salt is apparently the preserving agent in the dough because otherwise it's just going to be flour and water and things are going to go pretty gnarly that's all it is and then you mix it with warm water and it just becomes a ball of dough but for now i gotta get back to my little girl just basically added hot water. I'm gonna try getting her handprint on this before she goes down. A handy dandy roller. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, how is this gonna work? Okay girl, you gotta... Let's do one hand at a time. Do you wanna, oh, can you hold her neck? Can you bring this closer to the edge? She's not um, spreading out her hand. Wait. Girl! Okay, girl, girl. Give me just your... Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> Should we do a face face print? Girl, your thumb! Oh, oh <laughs> lovely! Wait, this hand? This hand. Do you want to do both hands? Yeah. Don't eat it. The dough and salt. Girl! <laughs> um, Girl! <laughs> you don't want to open your hand? Open your hand! It's gonna... Oh, sure. my! Sure. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> okay, we gotta try this again. Yes, you say. Open your head. Open your thumb. We're so close, we're almost there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't grab it. Oh, she keeps grabbing. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna think of a better way to do this. <laughs> Who is that? Who? I, for some reason, thought we could get her on the first try with a three month old cooperating. Don't curl in. Yeah, good job, girl. Okay, you ready? Girl, ready? Oh my gosh, I wonder if this will actually work out. Okay. 